Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the notebooks. I'm sure you already uh, seen notebooks, not, I'm not thinking about the computer, I'm thinking about these. These are tabs and as you can see if I open a new I can change between the tabs like that, I can open even more tabs as you can see. So yeah, I can change it and every tab in here uh, contains a text view widget, which which is that. Okay, uh, so today we gonna make something like that, not the text editor, maybe later we can make text editor uh, after m a lot of tutorial, but for now I just want to make a simple uh, notebook uh, uh, which contains several tabs, for example five tabs, and uh, yep, okay let's get started first of all create a few new variables we need that uh, free okay uh, first we need a notebook variable and it's not the type just the name okay and we need a label and another label this is label 2 okay while label in this example will contain uh, whatever inside the tab in this case it is a text view widget which is a little more advanced but uh, as you can see it's a new text view widget uh, we just uh, called there a label to make everything simple but as i said you can hold anything in there even even new windows even new notebooks okay the label too will be the title so in this case I this is uh, this is a title which is not just a label as you can see it is uh, but uh, it is a label and an image never mind okay uh, so let's get started to create a notebook you use a very familiar function gtk notebook notebook new okay it has actually no uh, you know uh, parameters okay and now you may want to define where these tabs, tabs are. In this case, it is in, in the top. So it's GTK uh, a post top, uh, like that. Uh, and actually, that's the default for notebooks. So you can change this, for example, make down, so bottom. So GTK uh, notebook set tab post okay so set the tab position uh, first of all always as always we have to make a cast notebook and the second parameter is an enumeration type or content I really don't know so uh, I think it is an enumeration okay uh, there are four uh, possibilities you can put top uh, left bottom and right uh, we now put down so gtk uh, push bottom like that uh, and let's put it here down okay uh, next thing uh, make a for loop which will automatically put these pages so we don't have to manually do that okay uh, in here we have to call a function called gtk uh, notebook oh page append like that it's wait a few parameters we will pass it uh, uh, at the moment so the first as almost always is the cast that uh, type so this is the notebook and the second and the third parameter the second parameter is what the uh, notebook tab should contain so in this case this is a text view widget so that's what I I am working on and the second is the label of the tab okay uh, uh, let's make these actually they need uh, actually not we need but it's make a little convenient way of handling things is to include the string so include string 
you should already know what is the adv uh, advantage of using the string instead of C style strings and now we will use that okay so make a string uh, s equal and just write something in here this is just a test test of the notebook okay I sometimes write to be instead of to o okay uh, in this example uh, you can learn it okay just make a little longer text so we can separate from the label and you know not just one line text and this is the page and now we have another advantage of string what am I doing here the what string f I want to do that okay uh, now we append a character to the string if you remember uh, or maybe I not showed you never mind there is the string uh, in the uh, C++ reference so you can find that the string has an overloaded plus equal operator which will put a character to the end of the string uh, which can put a character to the end of the string but it can st uh, put a string literal at the end of the string I think so S plus equal and now the magic mag magic comes in we have to uh, convert this integer to a character to do that uh, first we need a uh, ASCII table okay and now we f find the first character this is at position 48 actually 49 because we want to start one not from zero so we just static cast it to a char and what do we want to static cast is the 90 uh, 49 plus i okay this is just work in case of uh, one mm, character long uh, uh, numbers so in this case 0 through 9 not uh, uh, 10 I is not working already because that will give a semicolon according to the ASCII table okay uh, now this will append to the end of it for the 1 2 3 4 okay uh, so we can uh, see something that is changing the next is just uh, create the actual label so label label equals gtk label new and s dot uh, c str as you may remember the c str member function of string will give the c style character so the zero uh, so the uh, null byte character separated the characters uh, okay uh, so we created the label which is the what does it contain now create the label 2 which is the label of the tab in this case it is the first at cpp so label uh, actually make s equal page and just append the character uh, similarly to what we did actually the same we have to do the same as we did before okay and we just create a label okay I just make the work a little quicker and just change it to label 2 and we are ready okay so we have to first add the label here and then the label 2 here okay and the last thing we have to do is to add to the container so the to the window this um, notebook so gtk container add okay like that oh finally all right and uh, now we can try to compile it and if it's not work oh frack it uh, like that okay okay uh, not append page page append uh, what what okay gtk notebook append page 
so yeah I mixed the two parts of it now it compiled and now we can run it and as you can see the tabs are in the bottom and uh, the string so the label is in the top and as I uh, go uh, so clicking uh, it, is, it is changing okay uh, like that this is just as simple as that okay there are some other useful functions for the GT, uh, so the GTK notebook uh, one is that the prepend page which will do the uh, uh, op opposite order so similar that GTK box pack start and box packs end okay uh, there is a scrollable so if I click a few times as you can see there is a scroll thing here so yeah this is scrollable window so to set it just use the GTK notebook uh, set scrollable and the GTK notebook and true so yeah it is uh, becomes uh, scrollable okay uh, another important function let me think you can set the default so the current page with the GTK uh, notebook uh, set current page I think so you set what is the current uh, page uh, when you start this is the default one uh, when you start it uh, obviously the default okay there is a GTK notebook uh, next page and the previous page which will set to the next or previous page obviously okay and that's all about notebooks I don't want to show you these last functions because I am run out of time maybe when we de do a little bit bigger project I will do but not for now all right then thank you for watching and have a great day